Hi there, welcome to Reykjavik in Iceland. Been down here visiting clients and doing some interesting work. Also taking a few days off to, to go and check out what's happening in the city and also around the island. One thing I've been reminded of whilst being here in Reykjavik and uh, across the island in, in total is about small island innovation culture. The ability to do some big ideas in a place that's small with a small population because the mobilization of those ideas is easier and more cost effective. If you look at Iceland, they do geoengineering with Climeworks, that's an amazing project. They've got geothermal energy, and there's all sorts of food uh, combinations that are a little strange, like putrefied shark. Tried that yesterday, not really my thing. But when I think about small island culture, it's just about having the idea, mobilizing it, testing it with a small population, and then rolling out. We're seeing amazing things happen around the world. So Costa Rica has been running for over 320 days just on solar power alone. If you look at New Zealand, it's where banks go to test out ideas. Chip and Pin's been there for over a decade and that's because they can test it out on a small population, refine the process, then, then blow it out globally. So it's not just about small islands, it's not just about small places. If you're a large company or if you're a country, you can focus in on, on a concept called hot housing. Hot housing is the idea that you create a small place, whether it's a bank branch or a certain part of your business, and you can innovate within that, prove yourself, and then blow it out wider. And then if that works, you can do it again and again and again, because innovation is additive and incremental. So small island thinking, small place hot housing, that's the key to innovation.